everybody. Welcome back to the West Wyandotte branch of the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library for another installment of KCKPL Science, where I teach you how to do a science experiment. Today we're going to be making our very own crystal gardens out of salt, water, and food coloring. You only need a few ingredients for this awesome project. We're going to watch salt crystals grow in water. Here's what you need for this experiment. You're going to need some Epsom salts, some hot water, a clear glass container with a lid, a measuring cup, some food coloring, and rocks or sand to place into your crystal garden. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up our clear container and we're going to put some Epsom salts into our container. For this experiment, you're going to want to use one part salt to one part water. So in this case, I'm going to put a quarter cup of salt and a quarter cup of water into my container. So we're gonna start there. We'll add some salt to our container. We'll be extra careful not to spill. tap water runs really hot on its own, then there's no need to microwave your water. However, if your tap doesn't run that hot, you might want to go ahead and microwave your water. So you're going to place a quarter cup of water in this case into a microwavable dish and you're going to put it in the microwave for only 45 seconds. Don't do any more than 45 seconds. If your water is too hot, you might actually ruin your experiment. We don't want necessarily all of the salt to dissolve, but we want to get close. So we're going to add a quarter cup of hot water to our jar. All right, and at this point, we're going to go ahead and put in food coloring if you want to, or if you have it. This is just going to add some color into our crystal garden. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stir our crystal garden up. It may take up to two minutes for most of the salt to become dissolved in your hot water. So we're gonna stir and stir and stir. Essentially what we're doing here is we are trying to dissolve a solid into a liquid. That creates what we call a solute. So a solute is a mixture of liquid and at least partially dissolved solid. When we make a solute, we are saturating the water with whatever liquid we've or uh, whatever solid we've introduced into it. So in this case it's going to be salt. So we're making a little solution here. As you're stirring you might want to stop and check every once in a while and see how dissolved your salt is into your water. If you still have a lot of salt crystals left, keep stirring. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and quit stirring. My solution looks pretty dissolved. I've gotten as much of the salt as I can dissolved into this warm water. Warm liquids will hold more of a solute than a cold liquid. So that's why we're getting such a good level of saturation here. Now that you have your solution ready, you're gonna go ahead and drop in, we're gonna introduce what we call an impurity. In this case, I'm going to use pebbles. My pebbles are gonna go into my solution of salt and water and be something for salt crystals to start growing on. When an impurity is introduced into a saturated solution, seed crystals can start to grow. So you'll notice salt crystals start growing on these rocks. You can use pebbles, you can use little grains of sand, it's really up to you. Little grains of sand are going to yield smaller crystals while larger objects like rocks or pebbles will yield um, bigger crystals and your crystal garden will grow a little bit taller than if you just use sand. All right, I think our solution is ready to go the lid onto the jar and put it in your freezer for 10 minutes. Once 10 minutes are up, take the jar out of the freezer, don't let it freeze any longer, and put it into the back of your refrigerator. Once you've placed it there, you're going to want to leave it there at least overnight. If you want more crystals in your garden, you should leave it in your refrigerator maybe a couple more nights longer and you'll get a really cool result. Next time you pull 
pull it out of the fridge, it should start to look like this. You should have seen some crystals grow. When your crystals are all grown, you can dump the water out of the jar. Your crystals should stay at the bottom of your jar. So dump the water out of your jar. You can clean off any type of salt or water that's left on the rim of the jar. And then you have this amazing crystal garden to enjoy. So to make this a true science experiment, you can try some different things. Maybe start with one jar as your control. So follow these directions exactly and you'll have a control jar. Maybe with a second jar, you can try using hotter water or colder water and see what type of crystals grow. In one jar, you can use sand. In one jar, you can use rocks or pebbles and see what your crystals look like. Try experimenting with the colors too. Maybe you can try a lighter color and see how good the crystals come out or a darker color and see how clearly they come out. All right, I hope you all enjoy your crystal gardens. If you decide to participate in this experiment at home, make sure that you tag us on Facebook and Instagram and show us what you've done. You can also reply to this YouTube video and let us know how your experiment went. Okay, enjoy your gardens. Bye.